this is up, Nikki. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. Hello, this is Ebony Geek 45 and good morning. Today is a great day to learn something. We have been working on an LED cube as of lately. At times, you may want to add a library. With the new IC station coding that I found, which is actually the code for the cube, they use a library. If you want to use their library to code your cube, it may be a little, I would say, difficult if you don't know how to add the library. So let's get to it. We're going to be adding a library to the Arduino ID, and I'm going to use this version right here. As you remember, when we was doing it for the Eclipse version, this is the file that we were looking for. So let's go ahead and copy it just to show you what will happen if you simply try to just add that to the Arduino ID without importing the library. So let's go ahead and click on it. And it don't take that long to come up, as you saw. So I'm just going to bring it down a little. Well, that's not the way to do it. OK. And if we simply paste it here, and let's just bring this out a little. We have it pasted here, and you would think that it's fine, but when you try to confirm it or verify it, let's save it, you're going to come up with a compilation error. Let's bring this up. It's saying icstationlightcube.h, no such file or directory. Now, this is not just for the IC station library. This is for any kind of library that you might want to add, just like with the Eclipse version. So what you will want to do is, let's see how we want to start this. If you downloaded the file like I did, it's going to be in your downloads folder. So I would just click downloads. And excuse my messy files. The way it would come to you is says seen here. Arduino 5312 with the curly brackets in it, I would guess. Maybe you didn't get it like that. I'm going to try to actually rename it so that the zip file don't have that. Because if you try to add the library with the brackets with those square brackets on there and I believe with the underscore too it's gonna cause you problems in trying to actually add the library so what I did was I just clicked on it and I renamed it I renamed it to IC station LED cube zip okay so when you go into that file there's the zip file you want to keep the zip file, and I actually renamed that too to IC Station LED Cube .zip instead of the name it was here. You want to rename it and get rid of those square brackets and the underscore. As you can see, I have it as IC Station LED Cube .zip. No difficult part about that. Also, no special characters in the name of the folder either. Okay, with that said, we know the location is in downloads. So let's just move this over. Okay. So it's really simple and easy. So you will go to your sketch file, import library, add library, click it, it's going to say select a zip file or folder containing the library you like to add. So we do know that it is in my downloads folder, so I'm just going to click this PC and downloads. And remember, the name for it was IC Station LED Cube zip 
I'm going to click on that. And there's the zip file right there. So we're going to click on that and click open. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check it. So we're going to go to sketch. Come on. It's still thinking, I guess. So sketch, import library. And as you can see now, we have IC station. I know it's right on the edge of the screen, but it says IC station underscore, underscore light cube. Let me see if I can get it better for you. Okay, so let's see. You should be able to see it though. It's right at the bottom. Okay, so another way to check it to make sure we now have a library is to go to File, Examples, right down at the bottom, and again, you probably can't see it because it's right at the bottom. I wish you could, but okay. But right at the bottom it says IC Station Cube, and it has a little arrow that says Special Effects. And I will click on that, or you will click on that, and it brings up Example Code or the Example Code. It shows that little disclaimer or license or whatever. It shows the header file and a bit of code that they did leave for it. I would say they could have left a better example because it is an example, but they didn't. But that's the example coding for it. And that's how you would get to the special effect that I was showing on the video. But we're here about the actual library, which should be working now. So let's go ahead and try to verify it now. Okay, and it's running as you can see by this bar here. And sometimes take it a minute. At least we know it's working. And there you go. We have all nice white lettering showing us that there was no problems. And if you run it, you will have no problems right there. If you, if you upload your code to your Uno, you should have no problems whatsoever. When you go into the file, you're going to click on that, going to click on that. Just take a good look at the .cpp file and the .h file and the examples file to get a good idea how they got that coding to work. If you're good with C++, then you shouldn't have no problems. If you're a starter, then do a lot of Googling and researching. I will be going over the call after a while. I'm just so into trying to get my own LED coding to work, but I will be getting that video up soon. If anybody come up with any good coding running off of the IC station like cube.h library, please send it to us so that we can see how you did it. Also, and especially if you did it in a more simplified way so that new people could understand. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with that. That is how you add a library, not just the IC Station Light Cube library, but any library that you would want to add to the Arduino IDE. That's how you add that. Have a great rest of your day. Happy tinkering, happy coding, and today is a great day to learn something. Bye-bye. And I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.